Welcome. In this video, I will show you how to create procedural particles in Blender's geometry nodes. You can adjust any setting, create infinite variations, and it is only a few nodes. Plus, I will show you how you can use this particle setup to create a simple wind animation. So first of all, we need to start in the 3D viewport. Let's begin by deleting everything from the scene, except the default cube. Then select the cube and increase the scale. This cube will serve as a boundary object where particles will be visible, so make sure it's big enough that it covers the whole render area. Now switch tabs and go to Geometry Nodes. Let's create a new node group. The first step is converting the mesh into volume, so search for mesh to volume and add it to the node group. We have a volumetric cube. Now we need to randomly distribute points inside the volume. They will be used for distributing the particle instances. The points are not actual objects. Therefore, we need to substitute them for object instances. So add an instance to the points node. And the point object I will use for this particle system is a sphere. But before we instance them, we shade them smooth with a set shade smooth node. We don't need too much geometry, so decrease the resolution. The initial scale of the sphere is too big for a particle. So make the radius small. Now plug them into the instance socket. This is what we have right now, but the particles are fixed, so let's add some motion. Because we are dealing with instances, we won't use a transform geometry node, but a transform instance node. So, we want to set random movement to the translation vector for every axis independently, and textures are the best source of variation. So add the Vernoi texture, set the type to 40 and change the feature to smooth F1. We will use the color texture, because when you plug a color texture into a vector input in Blender shader nodes, you are essentially telling Blender to interpret the color data as a vector. Now, if we adjust the W slider, we can see some first signs of motion. The motion works, but right now the motion style looks more like a swarm of pissed off bees. So we need to slow down the motion. And we can do that by adding a math node, choosing the multiply operation and setting the second input to 0.005. Scale down the instances again and slowly increase the value. Now the movement looks more natural for air, dust, or other elements. So now you can keyframe and create an animation. This already looks good, but it would be more realistic if they were moving with the wind. So add separate XYZ and combine XYZ nodes and put them before the translation. We wanna combine the random motion that we have with the motion of the wind. Therefore, we will connect the math node to all coordinates and set the operation to add because we are adding to the motion speed. But the movement has not changed because right now we are adding zero. But first of all, this is the part when we should create a node group to simplify the particle system. So select all nodes, and with Control G, you will create a node group. Now take density, plug the input into the group output, and do the same thing for sphere radius, smooth shading, and for both math values. Let's go back to our coordinate separation and do the same with all value inputs. If you click tab now, you will pack the group with all the important inputs you can control and adjust with only one single node. You can also add material if you want and connect the material input to the node group as well, so you can switch between materials even faster. Now press N to open the sidebar and change the name to particles. Here, you can rename and adjust the order of all inputs. Now you have a procedural particle system that you can use to control particle density, radius, smooth shading, motion, and intensity, as well as wind speed and direction with X, Y, and Z coordinates. That's all from my side. If you are here for the first time, which might be the case, definitely subscribe to Graffinity so you don't miss similar videos. It's been a pleasure, and I'll see you in the next video.